Do you have sharp shooting pain down one leg as if your nerves are directly plugged into an outlet? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to unplug the cord and stop that nagging pain from coming back with my three favorite exercises for sciatica. Welcome to Back Unbroken. I'm Nate, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I help people with back pain. If you're here, you probably have that horrible pain that feels like electricity running down the back of your leg. Most people who get this pain usually do a little digging on Google and quickly find that it's something called sciatica. In reality, there's a variety of conditions and causes that present like sciatica, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to keep it simple here and refer to that nerve pain down the back of one leg as sciatica. Just for some quick background, the sciatic nerve is the biggest nerve in the body and it runs from some fibers in your lower back all the way down through your leg and into your feet. And sometimes when that nerve is irritated or annoyed, you'll start getting that shooting pain down the back of one leg. So our job is to make this nerve less angry and desensitize it to movement so that you can live your life without this debilitating pain. So let's jump into my top three exercises for sciatica. These are also free to download at backunbroken.com under the free resource section if you want them in PDF form. The first one is what we call a nerve glide. It sounds fancy, but it's really just a stretch of the nerve. And like with stretching, we can use this as a way to desensitize the nerve and make it more comfortable with those uncomfortable movements. Start by laying on your back with the painful leg at 90 degrees and your foot down. Once you're in this position, you're going to kick your foot up as high as it goes. Now you'll notice that the further you kick your foot up, the more you're going to feel that nerve pain, which seems counterintuitive. Isn't this supposed to make it feel better? But we're using this exercise as a way to retrain your body and your nervous system to be okay with this nerve stretch. So start slow and just go to the point where it feels difficult and slightly uncomfortable but still tolerable. Go up and down slowly for 10 to 12 reps and then take a break. Over time, you'll be able to kick up further and further and your nerves will be able to tolerate this stretch better. So this isn't an immediate fix, but it may be one of the most effective ways to desensitize this nerve and make moving around feel better over time. Okay, next up we have repeated flexion or extension. This one's going to take a little bit of experimenting. What you want to do is start by either sitting or standing depending on what's more comfortable. First, try bending forward and rounding your back. Try it a couple times in a row to see how it feels. Then try bending backward the other way. Again, give it a couple reps and see how it feels. For most people with sciatic symptoms, one of these movements is clearly more painful and the other is clearly more comfortable. So try it yourself and see which direction is more comfortable for you, bending forward or bending backward. Once you have an answer for which one feels better, we're just going to do that direction for reps. For example, if bending forward feels better, we're just going to do that for 10 to 20 reps in a row. For a lot of people, this is an easy strategy to get some pain relief throughout the day. Whenever you're feeling particularly flared up or painful, just do a few sets of repeated bending towards the direction that feels good. Eventually, we'll want to work on the other direction as well, but just for short term pain relief, stick with the direction that makes you feel better. And finally, exercise number three is something you might hear referred to as decompression, but it's basically just a stretch for your lower back and your spine. I'll show you two ways to do it. The first is in a seated position, either on a chair or a couch. You're going to push through your hands to unweight your lower body off the surface of the seat. You don't need to go crazy and make yourself float in the air, but the idea is just to gently unweight your lower back. Hold this for 10 to 15 seconds or as long as is comfortable. The other way to do this is to hold on to a counter or something sturdy and drop your hips back behind you. You'll feel a gentle pull in your lower back and it should feel pretty good for your symptoms. Same thing here, you can hold this for as long as is comfortable. Like with all these exercises, don't do them if they make your symptoms worse. The whole reason for doing these exercises is to give yourself relief, so skip any that don't give you this. Again, if you want to download these as a PDF, it's free on my website. As always, if you need more help overcoming nagging back pain or sciatica, head to backunbroken.com to see how I can help. I'll see you next video.